I left Ireland in 1983 at the age of 21 to start working in Europe with Greenpeace. My job was to engage in non-violent direct actions promoting peace and calling for global action on climate change and environmental destruction. On my first voyage, we sailed from Amsterdam to Norway, where we protested against the culling of seal pups for the fur industry. I spent the next 20 years working with Greenpeace. Ten of those years were aboard campaigning ships, travelling the oceans of the world. We journeyed to the far corners of the earth, to places such as Antarctica, where we put ourselves between the harpoons of whalers and the magnificent mammals they were trying to kill. In the Mediterranean Sea, amongst many other protests, I climbed the anchor chain of a Russian nuclear warship to highlight the transportation of nuclear weapons of mass destruction in the area. I was involved in several actions around the dumping of radioactive waste into the Irish Sea from the UK nuclear reprocessing plant at Sellafield. In 1985, I was a crew member of the Rainbow Warrior in New Zealand when it was bombed by the French Secret Service. My friend, Fernando Pereira, was murdered in that action. This was a sad and anxious time for me but I was determined to keep fighting. A few months later, I was deported back to Ireland from French Polynesia, where I had been imprisoned for protesting with my Greenpeace crewmates against nuclear testing. My family and friends were worried for my safety, but I felt compelled to keep going. I went back to Greenpeace to join my next voyage to Antarctica, still committed to continue the fight. When I left Greenpeace and moved home to Ireland to raise my three daughters, I studied and worked in enterprise and ecology, still active on the ground, still fighting to spread the word about the environment and climate change. At the time, it often felt like nobody was listening. I brought that fight with me when I entered the political arena and became a Green Party senator. And now it's time for me to return to Europe again. The fight isn't over yet. It has never been more important to vote green. I need your help to continue the fight for the future of life on Earth. I'm asking, please, for your number one votes in the European elections on May the 24th. Thank you.